welcome to the channel, gang. My name is Craig Rivest, and this is a channel dedicated to crafting, building, creating, you know, making things with your hands and whatever you want to do. Today, what I want to do is I want to build a cabinet, a shelf that kind of go on the wall back here to hold all my, my cordless power drills, sawzalls, sanders, what have you. Just a little spot to organize them there, right on the wall, next to the pegboard. All right, so something I found useful in this early stages of building stuff was to draw a diagram of the projects that I wanna work on. For instance, this wall right here is where I'm gonna build that, that, that power utility cabinet for my tools. So I drew it out on graph paper, kind of the scale, to kind of get an idea of what I needed for a cut list, all the product dimensions, all the items that are gonna be going in there and if they'll fit. So right here is the project blueprints themselves. Right here, you can kind of see I got the layout of the dimensions of the project. And over here is my cut list. I got spots here for one, two, three power drills. Uh, spot maybe for some routers and roto zips and jigsaws and maybe my sanders or however I feel like filling it. So this is going to be like the moment of truth. We're going to see if I could turn these blueprints into an actual physical project that I can show you guys the process of how it was built. And if you're interested, maybe I'll put a cut list down below if you guys wanna build something similar. All right, so there we have our cut list. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is our finished table in unfinished form, obviously. Next step is to assemble it all and uh, start making some spots for the pocket holes for our Craig jig and put it all together. That's not too bad. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, if I might say so myself. Now we just got to build it back. All right. Almost like I planned it. This is looking good. We're just going to glue the top on now, or the back, I should say, and uh, staple it in. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Time to mount it. And there you have it. Nice little do-it-yourself power tool storage cabinet. All you need is a sheet of plywood and some screws, a little bit of time and effort, but you too can make one of these at home in your free time. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, and check the description down below. I'll have some links to the tools I use to make the do what they do on the wall there. Thanks for watching. We'll check you guys on the next one. Oh, not too bad. It's looking pretty snazzy. Looking pretty snazzy, don't you say? Now I just need some tools to fill up that side of the shop. Need more tools? More tools.